Okay, so how is this course uh, positioned in, in a wider machine learning curriculum? Uh, so I will list here some example courses that I found offered at Aalto University or University of Helsinki, but most likely you will find similar courses at other universities or in online form. So the bare necessities, they are covered in a course on, on matrix algebra or linear algebra. So we, we assume that you are familiar with uh, basic properties of, of matrices, uh, decompositions of matrices, eigenvalue decompositions uh, of matrices, as we will use them in our course. Then uh, you should have uh, a first course on machine learning, so you should know how to train a model and how to validate a model. Also, some knowledge about regularization techniques can be helpful. And uh, it would also be very useful if you had a course on uh, applied machine learning or data analysis using Python. So uh, it will be not too much of a problem if you didn't have such a course, if you are able to quickly adapt and learn uh, new uh, methods in, in Python. Okay, what is nice to have but not absolutely necessary is uh, courses on optimization. So we have here one course at Alto, Introduction to Optimization, which is nice to get a first uh, exposure to this uh, concept. So building blocks of optimization problems and our course formulates federated learning as an optimization problem. So if you had such a course, this gives you a good, a very good start for our course. But uh, if not, uh, we will uh, slowly introduce all the building blocks of, of these optimization problems as we need them. Okay, then there's another more advanced course on convex optimization at Alto University, which teases, uh, teaches uh, more advanced techniques to, for example, study the, the convergence rate, the convergence speed of different gradient methods. And those are very useful for the design and the study of federated learning algorithms as well. Yeah, as follow-up courses, so after completing our federated learning course, uh, I could recommend a course on wireless systems, because at some point we need to implement our federated learning uh, algorithms that we discuss in our course in, in hardware using uh, physical communication networks and one such physical communication networks are mobile networks which use wireless communication. And uh, I also found another very interesting follow-up course at Alto which is Distributed in, in Intelligent Automation Systems. So this uh, Internet of Things is, is a very important application domain for federated learning to train predictive models for different needs.